Hello there. Uh, my name's Ken Truman from the Derbyshire County Angling Club. Today we're going to be tying a middle dropper for the washing line uh, set up. Uh, this is a yellow owl epoxy buzzer. Uh, size 12 hook. Elite Barbless Competition. Nice hook. Reasonably priced. Use them a lot. Very good. The thread is a uni thread at A2. And this is a light car hill, which is a perfect for the uh, yellow owl buzzer. If I could find a floss instead of the A2, I'd use it. Most of the flosses I've tied aren't uh, either the wrong colour. Oh, they they fuzz up. Uh, for an epoxy buzzer, you don't want it to fuzz up. The rib and the thorax is UTC seventy in black. So I'm going to catch the uh, UTC seventy under the light car hill. Wind it down in touching turns. If they're not quite touching, you'll have to bear with me because I usually use a backboard for this. But obviously with the camera, I can't use the backboard. If I were tying these hooks for myself, I'd stay... I'd tie them short. I'd finish them there where you can see the thread. But these are for an order, so what's been asked for is... Uh, to go around the bend. Uh, you can use a grub hook as well for these if you're going to go around the bend. You probably look better on a grub hook, but that's not what's been ordered. So I'll just go around the bend. Try not to catch the thread like I do and come back up in reasonably tight turns. Until you get to where you into the thorax. I'm finished with the uh, light car hill thread now, so I can tie that off. Cut it off. Rib the fly with the UTC 70. And this is also going to be used to form the thorax. Simple flies these, simple fly to tie. Not difficult. Not many materials needed. So just decide how big a thorax you want. Don't be afraid of going up to the eye, there's only a, a, a couple of ghost biots to go on here. I'll show you how to do them in a minute. So, these are the biots. These are from uh, Dave Downey. If you search for fly fishing world on the internet, Mr. Downey's site will come up. So I'm just going to just nip the very end off. On it one side. Just pull it through so it's not masking the eye. One on the other side.
tied on the side, pull it through so it's not masking the eye. Now let's go back to where the thorax is finished, making sure that they stay on the side. Spin the bobbin anti-clockwise to spread the thread. Build the thorax up. Making sure that you've covered all the bits of orange. And cover it with UV so there's no need to be that particular. Come back to the eye. Fold the bayet over. Catch it in. Invert the vise so you can see it. Fold the other bayet over. At this, at this stage you can move them so that they flush with the eyes. Now three turns. Pull the thread tight. Break the bayet off. Invert the vise. Pull the thread tight. Break the bayet off. Start at the eye and come back four turns. So you're making sure you're covering the bayet. Cut the thread off. UV. This is the Vineyard's Bet4 UV, it's alright. Let's fit the, the supplied nozzle on it. Don't need a lot. Probably too much on there. It's probably too much on there. I only put one spot on. Make sure the eye is clear. Because it's a bugger to get out. Zap it with UV. It takes a few seconds. It's pretty good this bet for it's from Venyards, it's about seven pound. For our, uh, you want the thin stuff. Yeah, that's gone off, that's hard. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.